We got fish on, baby. Oh, it's a nice one. Beach giant. Whew. All right, y'all. How's it going? Today we are over here at the beach. I don't know if y'all can see this. It is. Uh, it has been a little rainy. It's supposed to storm here and there. But I think that's just kind of Florida in the summer. So the other day, if you guys didn't see the video where we came to the beach, we actually had some luck. Hopefully, we can reciprocate that today. I have a goal in mind. And uh, yeah, man, I'm stop talking. It's it's rainy out there. Hopefully, we don't get struck. All right, we stop talking. Let's get right into this video. All right, you guys might hear a little bit of wind. It is definitely windy. I think once these storms pass by, that should clear. I'm gonna put these rod spikes into the sand. There's one. There's two. You already know, man, we stopped at the tackle shop. Picked up the good old, fresh, juicy, I mean, oh, lively, live shrimp. It's a nice little one right there. So what we're gonna do, just like last time, I believe this is called just a normal fish finder rig. Got a little circle hook. We're gonna hook the shrimp through the horn. Boom. And then basically it's just a leader going to a swivel, going to a little slide and sinker. This is a three ounce, should hold pretty good. The tide is kind of slackish right now, which is not exactly what we want, but it should be just about on its way out. Yeah. That looks pretty good. So we'll leave that in here. That's gonna be the one rig. This is the rig that if you guys saw the last video, this thing was doing some damage. We almost lost our rod. Got yoinked in almost. All right, we'll keep an eye on that one. Keep an eye on the sky. I'm telling you, man, we got like dumped on when I was walking over here. One of those situations where it was like thundering a little bit too. I was like, dude, I don't know if I should get out here, but you can kind of see it passed by us. Like it's way out to sea now. And there's actually, I don't know, it looks pretty dark over there, but hopefully that doesn't get us. So the setup we have out there, that's just kind of like shrimp, you know, whatever bites. Oh, that was some thunder. Could possibly bite. I'm not messing around though. If there's too much lightning, we're about to take a break for a second. Especially with these big long rods at the beach. This rig, however, is gonna be a little bit different. So this is kind of like a high-low rig with smaller circle hooks. This is the same thing we used last time. Here's the thing, right? Last time we were just bombing this way out there and I was like, dude, there's Papano if there's something. Hopefully they'll, you know, bite it. Yeah, nothing really bit it. So the thing we're gonna do differently today punch that right there we're still going to be casting the same kind of rig but we're going to be putting it a lot a lot a lot a lot closer two rods in the water hopefully uh something freaking bites us oh here comes the rain again it's like not even oh yeah there's a nice big cloud up there Look at all these shells it's gotta be some good shark teeth around here, man. Still looking for that freaking Meg. That would literally make my life if I found a Megalodon shark tooth. Oh. This big one's just got bit. Do you have fish on there? Hello? This thing definitely got tapped. Oh. It's starting to rain again, oh my gosh. And okay. Whew. That is actually, that's solid. Boom, 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 boom. First fish of the day. That, I believe, that's a spot, isn't it? We catch these up in Delaware. All right, we're gonna hold on to this dude. I uh, I got a plan. Oh boy, here it comes, for real, for real. I'm not sure how I feel about this rain. Dude, I think that's coming right at me. Let me have to pull out real quick. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh, I don't even know where I should come out here, actually. I might have to go back into hiding. <laughs> All right, and we emerge. This is, this is just like definitely some summertime Florida fishing. Luckily, I was able to duck under like a little wooden walkway sort of thing. Anyway, let's get back to the fishing, man. It's so freaking cool to me that we just caught a spot. That is fire cut bait, potentially. Those things are actually really good eating as well. But it's just cool like get our shrimp back in here. I don't even think there's anything on this anymore. Back in Delaware during this time of the year, it's like very heavy spot season. 
like a lot of people are fishing and they are fishing for spot off the piers and off a lot of different places there's a bunch of videos on the channel if you guys want to see that it's funny like there's other people out on the beach and a lot of people just like left their chairs and just freaking ran for it some people have like little tent things which is pretty smart actually I'm not even gonna put it too far out there. And then you got people over there, They're, those people are swimming. You can tell like who is from Florida. All right, shrimp out. Should we check this one? We should probably check this one, right? No fish. We got some movement here. Hold on, I got fish on here. We got fish. We got fish on, baby. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, I can't tell what it is. Oh, we got a freaking fighter on, man. What is that? Oh my gosh, all the live shrimp. Come here, what is this? Dude, this thing's pulling like, what in the heck? Mm. Come on, what are you? What the heck is this? Oh yeah. Oh my god. Dude. Solid one again. Oh. This is why you come out here in the rain, man. Oh my gosh. Boom. Beautiful trout from the beach. <laughs> that is what we were looking for. All right. Get you back in there. Super quick release. Boom. Let's go. Even in the freaking rain, man. Oh boy. About to trip over my line. Whew. Every time you go out, it's not gonna be perfect. I swear, dude, some of my better days of fishing have been in like bad weather. Alright, let's put another shrimp on, send it out. Dang, maybe I should put shrimp on both my rods. I wanna catch that pompano though. Whew. Man, that was so cool. Line's not even frayed. Popped right out of his mouth there at the end. That was picturesque. Literally so cool. This is one of my favorite types of fishing. And again, this is not like the easiest kind of fishing, to be honest. To I me, mean, a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of like experimentation goes into this stuff. And when you finally get a bite like that, dude, oh, that is so cool. All right, let's see if anything else will hit this. Whew. Again, it's kind of surprising the one on the right isn't really getting bit at all. It's kind of nice the tide is starting to go out too. We don't have to worry about getting freaking rogue waves swept. When that thing's coming in, man, it, it, sometimes those waves just whoosh. And last time it, my, my freaking shoe got completely soggy all up. I guess now it's soggy again, but it's from the rain. So I guess either way we're soggy. That was so cool. Did we have another bite on here? Hold on a second, man. We got a fish on, dude. Oh my God, it's going off. It's going off. What is that now? Oh my God. <laughs> Trying to keep up with this. Tighten that up a little bit. Is that another one? I'm in love with this fishing, man. What do we got here? And the cool thing about this, this could be anything. It's kind of fighting different. Dude. Holy cow. Another thick, big, thick girl. Tony, live shrimp is the key right now. All right, where's this at? All right, hold on. Boom, man. Second one. Look at those little teeth in the front. Oh my gosh, I'm about to get back to back. Get back in here. Dude, not gonna lie. Oh jeez. Oh my gosh, this fish are so freaking pretty. I accidentally dropped her, all right. Boom, good 
good release. Woo! So far, three fish. I'm telling you, man, sometimes it's worth it to rough it out through the through the storm. All right, another shrimp on. We might honestly be in a squad of these things. Honestly, not even casting out too far either. Can we make it three for three? That's also why like circle hooks are so awesome for uh, fishing, but especially surf fishing like this. It allows that fish to kind of take the shrimp and swim off with it and they kind of hook themselves instead of me needing to like set the hook with a J hook, you know what I mean? It's better for the fish too because I could just pop it right out. They swim out on their way. A lot of you guys might be like, yeah, why that? You're crazy, man. You're throwing away these like delicious trout. I am a fan of catching, cooking fish, but sometimes I just want to watch them swim and that's the best part of it. These turn out to be a beautiful day though. I mean, besides that, which is kind of sketchy, I think that's all moving offshore now. I don't know, my bubbler, I think, is roped. At least it's not sunny. Hopefully these shrimp stay good for a little while more, but as much as they're hitting the shrimp, I really do wonder if these trout will bite lures. Chuck a spoon around a little bit. Maybe pick up a jack or something too. Here it is, man. Sun is coming out. Woo! Wow, it actually looks like it's gonna be blue here in a couple minutes. This, it, this is Florida, man. Probably sound like a broken record, but I'm from Delaware. Like. Most of the time, if it rains, like it's it's raining, like pack your stuff up. These quick little storm showers are just like, it's kind of an inconvenience, but it's kind of nice at the same time because it cools everything off. And like, you know, most of the time they're quick. I'm sure it's sketchy as heck when you're out on a boat or something though. One of these things pop up or even a kayak. Like when we get back into the kayak after this boot, man, I don't, I don't know. It's gonna be kind of sketchy a little bit, huh? Oh, you know what? I wonder if my bubbler broke because of the, the rain. It's getting bright out here now. All right, let's see if there's even any shrimp on these little hooks. Yeah. Huh. Oh, 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 oh. I got a fish on. We got a fish on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Dude, this might be a freaking PB. Wait, this thing's pulling. Hold on. This thing's taking us for a freaking ride, man. Oh my God. What is that? What is that? Dude, there's no way. Oh my God. That is a monster. Holy cow. I gotta get my bag over here to be honest. My pliers and stuff. Dude, that is a monster. Holy freaking crap look there's my hand holy crap oh yeah oh dang dude oh man i hope you guys can tell i mean i know it's uh sometimes smaller on the camera wow oh my gosh that is a freaking beauty of a trout it's just that kind of day huh Let's get the zoo back in yeah i'd be lying if i said that wasn't a good feeling all right i'm gonna go bring my bag back over here Maybe get the shrimp in the shade. More importantly, the shades. That's what I need right now. This thing's got some big old whiskers. All right. Nice big old whiskery shrimp going in.
All right, now look at this. This went offshore. What's up, Seagull? How you doing? Now this is <laughs> over here and we have darkness behind us. We're dodging it like a little bit. Clean these shades off. I just can't believe we caught so many fish so far today, man. Freaking day. Just on such a simple rig. Just a little live shrimp, poke it out there. This dude is more complex and we're not getting crap on that. Even with smaller hooks and little pieces of, I mean, this is candy, little shrimp candies. Nothing's even messed with those shrimp on there. It's just, it's just same pieces I threw out at the beginning before we got all soggy. Oh, hold on. Did I just summon something? Dude, I think something's biting both of my rods. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A few nice trout. Hey, I wish you good luck, bro. Hey, thank you. I have any of the rods. This is definitely the one I want to keep changing the most. Do I have a fish on there? No. I'm going to keep that shrimp fresh because we got two dozen at the freaking store. Might as well. Dude, I don't know why I felt like there's something on there. Oh, yeah. See, I don't even have anything. That's one of the tough parts, honestly, about surf fishing or about just baiting and waiting in general. Like, you just never know when you actually have bait on, you know? How about for y'all? What is, like, the amount of time you usually, like, let it soak? I feel like 10 minutes ish 10 15 is 15 too long maybe even five if like the bite's hot i don't know this is a lively shrimp right here come on this thing's gonna get smoked dude probably doesn't help i've been fishing here for the past little bit with no bait on <laughs> professional surf fisher Either way, like catching fish, not catching fish. If y'all got a beach near you, just go out and try it, man. If you never really saw water fish before, it's such a vibe. Like the waves, the ocean, the sand, like it's, it's just like, I don't know, some kind of connection with the nature. I know some beaches can get super crowded though during these times of the year, especially, oh my God, the big rod is getting whammed. Do I have fish on here? I think I got a fish on the big one. Maybe I don't. Almost looked like that other one got a bite there too. Do I have a fish on here? Oh dude, I think I have fish on here. Yeah, I got a big nothing. <laughs> Whoop. Missed that bite. As I was saying, if you could find like either the beaches you know that don't have a bunch of people like the lesser known ones or you know go early or go late this is one of my favorite types of fishing man i like, seriously i think later in life you know when i'm ready to get a house it's got to be near the ocean man it's just got to one day when they're affordable i don't mean like right on the water but just like you know it'd be super sick and again we've come out so many different times so many different I mean, if you guys saw the videos so many different states and we didn't really catch too much so having days like these where you know we're we're catching some, we're catching some freaking nice ones. Like, it's a good feeling. One of, these, one of these days, we'll get that keeper pompano. Oh my god! Oh my god, bro! I don't have it. I do have it. I don't have it. What is this? Oh my god, giant fish! Giant fish, giant, what? On the big rod at least. Dude. Are we stuck? That's what 
No, 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 we got a fish on. What is that? <sighs> Beach giant. I want to go away from my other rod. Hopefully that one doesn't get sucked in to this line. What is this now? Oh my gosh. Beach giant. What is this? Oh no. That's not what you want to see. Oh, took us on a darn ride. Okay. Whew. Let's go take a look. This is not what we want to see. I don't really like messing with these dudes. So lots of ways to get injured. That's a piece of my guy, Steve Irwin. Oh man, that thing put up a freaking fight. Ooh. Oh man, all right. Let's go put this back in the holder. We got some work to do. Hey, nothing against the Stingray. We could be homies. I just don't like that barb and that tail. All right, here it goes. Hopefully with this wave. Go buddy, down, down on the slope. Woo, it should be good now. Hopefully it goes under that wave. All right, we're good. The easiest way I could do it. Let me know, man, how do you deal with those things? Cause it's never fun. I kind of held him down with like the barb down, not too hard, but with the uh, spike. Realistically, especially for sharks and those things, I think I need to get one of those like uh, hook removers. It's like super long and it's like a trigger sort of thing. You know what I mean? All right, well, a little bit of uh, action there. Big rod too, that thing felt big even on the big rod. It's crazy because they like, I guess kind of press up like on the floor when they're flat like that. I'm not saying it, it's just hard to get them up. Strong things, man. That one was fat too. All right, so here's what's going on. I don't know how much time we have left to fish because it looks like, oh gosh, storm's coming behind us. We have a fish finder rig and then we have a big piece. Oh geez. I don't know how much time we'll have here. Let's see if anything will bite this, any big things. It's a big piece of that spot we caught. I'm gonna pack up real quick, just in case we gotta make a move for it. We might have to in a second actually. I think that's definitely gonna hit us. You wanna know just where? Well.